Ford Thomas teachers, I am super pumped to share with you that we finally have breakout rooms in Teams. This is so exciting. Now, I wanna share with you that this is brand new. It's also likely still being tested. Um, so I would not expect it to work perfectly, but I want to give you a rundown of how you might use this. So right now I have a scheduled meeting in a team that I am in. Um, you have to schedule the meetings. You can't just start one to get this um, breakout room option is what I understand. Now I haven't tested it the other way, but just know you would want to probably schedule the meeting first with the team and then you will have a new feature up here at the top that says breakout rooms. It's a little square inside a square. To start the breakout rooms, you are going to press on the icon and it is going to ask you how many rooms you need to create. Now I only have one other person in this um, meeting with me, so I'm only gonna be able to um, you know, assign one, but I would choose from the drop down how many rooms I want to create. So let's just pretend I'm creating two rooms. Okay, it switches my number to two, and then I can either automatically assign the participants to a room where it'll just like jumble them up and drop them in a room, or I can manually assign them. So I'm going to choose manually assign to the breakout room, and then I'm going to create my rooms. So it will create my rooms. And now on my breakout room panel, which is on my side, um, I could manage my rooms. I could add another one, um, but I'm gonna start assigning my participants to the room that they need to go to. So to assign my participants, I'm going to select that little arrow here. I'm gonna select their name. And then if you had a bunch of students in there, you should be able to like assign all of them and I'm going to choose assign room one or two. So let's put my participant into room two and I'll see room two is open. Now, if I want to change the um, name, I can hover here over those three dots and rename the room to a group name or possibly to a uh, task name that they're doing. Um, however you want to rename those. It might just make it a little bit easier for you to manage. And then I would tell the students like, hey guys, I'm getting ready to send you to your room. And what'll happen is you'll start the room. Right now you see that they're closed. So we can start all the rooms at the same time. And then it is gonna transport my students from um, the main room into the um, breakout room. Now, if I, now right now I'm the only one in the main room. If I need to check in on my students and see what's happening, right, I am going to do that by hovering over that little room area, okay? Press the dot, 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 and choose join room. And then that's going to bring me to the new room where I can check in and see how the students are doing. And, um just see what's up, okay? If I need to go back to my main meeting, I could press return to main meeting. I could also just close my window here and leave it. So now I am in the main room, which you'll notice it says it's on hold because I had left. So I'm gonna resume my main room. And, um, then I can call my students back to the main room. Now, one of the things I might do before I call them back is I might send them a message. So up here on this three dots next to the breakout rooms, I'm gonna choose make an announcement, type my announcement. When I've typed my message, I send it. That pushes the message out to all of the rooms so all the students get that message. And um, it's a good idea to just give them a heads up, times up or whatever. And then I am going to close the rooms. And you'll see that it's closing the rooms. And what's happening in those rooms is it's then transporting the students back into the main room. So you'll see that my participant popped up here and I know that they are back. And if I need to, I can restart the rooms um, just by pressing start rooms. I could um, individually um, change things so I could individually delete the room if I need to do that. Um, let's see, room settings. 
if I press on these three dots up here, I could go to room settings and I could allow people to come back to the main meeting if they need to, or I can um, make like move them virtually myself. That would be your call on that. Um, so those are the basics. Give it a try. See what happens. Let me know. Talk to you guys later.